Hi guys and welcome back to another Sonic Academy Tech Tip. In this one we're going to show you uh, a wee bit more in the Live's new Groove control. And we're going to show you how to extract a groove from an actual audio loop or a drum sample. And to do this I'm just going to use uh, a sample from one of my own tunes which has uh, a pretty unique shuffle to it. I'm just going to play that sample and then you can hear sort of how hard it could be to replicate that. Okay, so there's a sort of a percussion hit playing in a particular rhythm, sort of, you can hear it sort of, it's like a, a wooden block, sort of. And I'm going to just do a for instance here and say that we're going to try and play that rhythm um, using a drum rack. And I've just put in a symbol here onto our drum rack. And I'm just going to have, uh, have it playing round and I'm going to try and program that symbol in. Okay, so you can hear that it's not a, a 32, it's not a, a 16, so it could be a, 30, a 32. Okay, so that's pretty close now, but it's not quite uh, this, it's not quite there. It's, it's still a slight bit of shuffle that we're, we're missing out on. And so what we can do is we can just leave this rigid at 16s, and if, we, if you go up to the, the loop that we've got it set on here, and if, if you just right click it and go to Extract Groove, It'll analyze it and it'll pick up um, where the, the transients are in the actual drum loop and create a, a new uh, shuffle for us, a new groove template. And that goes into your groove pull on the left here. And if we just save this out, and that's saved as uh, discount around as attack there. So what we can do now, we can just drop that onto our MIDI clip, so I'm going to play it back around with the tune and you hear the difference here. So I'll just drop it onto this MIDI clip. So you can hear that's playing in time with it now. And you can do the same thing to actual audio files. So I've got another drum loop here. Let's play it in isolation. Okay, so you can hear that's a pretty rigid uh, drum loop. So if we can play this round with the tune, and I'll put that drum loop in and then, and then apply the groove. So you do the same, you just drop it on top of the audio track. You can hear there it hasn't quite got it. Um, it usually does get it, but in, in the case that it doesn't get it, you can actually go in and just edit the warp markers to make it fit. So it's this beat here, it's just not hitting on. So if you just move it, I'll just make a warp marker before it, warp marker after it, put a warp marker on it and just move it slightly. Okay, so you can hear there that it's successfully applied the groove onto the MIDI clip, um, playing uh, just a MIDI, uh, or just a, a closed hat. And it's also applied it onto an audio track successfully, apart from that one wee blip. Um, but we are able to change that and it sounded perfect. And you can do the same um, from any track that you find that you like the groove. You can just uh, import it, uh, loop around the section that you like the groove of, extract the groove, and then just drop it on top of your drum loops in your other tune. Um, one thing I find really useful is just going through all the tunes that I like the groove of, uh, extracting the groove from all the different parts, and then just going back into my other tracks and just uh, dropping those grooves on top of uh, my uh, clips, and it just gives it gives it a whole new feel. Um, you could also try going through uh, like live drummers, um, uh, like live drum loops uh, from people that have actually played them, and extracting those grooves and applying them to maybe dance tunes um, just to give them more of a live feel, just to the hats or something, and um, just to give them a bit of a shuffle.
guys. So I hope you enjoyed this tech tip and I'll see you again in the next tutorial.